Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to construct a parabola, a hyperbola, an ellipse having a focus of 40 millimeter from the directories. Now what you do in this kind of situation is like I said earlier, we hear the word parabola or hyperbola or ellipse using a low cost method. The first thing you have to do is to draw um, a horizontal line, right, like this, and also a vertical line, like this. So, you will be meeting at the end point here. That is the vertical line, whereby this line here is called the directories. So let's see how it goes. And we are told the focus. We want to draw a parabola now. And the focus is what? 40 millimeter from the directories. So we are going to measure the 40 millimeter. So put my zero on the directories, just like you can see here. And I will measure 40. So this is my focus. Uh, I said something earlier that the vertex is half the focus or the focus is twice the vertex. So since I'm giving the focus, I'm going to divide it by two to get what the vertex. So half of the focus will be 20 and this will be two. So the V here is my focus, my vertex. So this point here is giving us my point V, which is the vertex. Now what you can do here, you can follow the previous method I used, or you can do it this way. On the vertex, you draw a vertical line that is passing through that point. Let's say a little one this way. You can see that now you take your compass and you place it on the focus on the with radius vf focus to the vertex can you see that look at the radius and you go and mark it on the vertex line up and down can you see that now you now take your rule and you draw from this line, this directories here, the zero passing through this point. From here, I'm going to draw. Right? Can you see that? And from here also, I'm going to draw. That's the first stage. So after doing that, like we said earlier. We are going to bisect the vertex and the focus to get half of it. So, but we know that since it's not a, a distance that we can easily divide, since from the vertex the focus is uh, 20, so I can easily say 10, it will be okay. So, this will be my 10 here. So, my point 1 is what? It's 10. Then the F here is my point 2 right then i'll take the radius of each of every one of them like this right and i'll start marking so this will be three this will be four this will be five i can continue that way and this will be what six so let me stop at six so after doing that so this will be two three four five and six so i'll take my set square with the help of my t square right now you take your set square you place it on your t square and draw a perpendicular line across each of these points such that they must not go over this line this is what i mean here so from here I'm going to take my comp my pencil. I'll draw this. 
to the next point also I'll draw this to the next point also I'll draw this to the next point also I draw this to the next point also mind you it is faint line draw this the last but not the least I can stop at 5 if I want to but let me just go on 6 so that is 6 so I'm going to just complete this at this point here right now what you do now, next now is this you're going to take your compass from point one you are going to gauge between one you gauge between one and the top here of this line can you see then you take it to the focus and you cut on one you can see that you go to two also you take it to this point right since you're since you're on the focus you leave it on the focus and you cut on the focus right you go to three you gauge it like this you can see that take it on the focus you cut on three you go to four you gauge it you place on the focus you cut on four right the line of four like this can you see that you go to five you take it you gauge it on that line you take it to focus and you cut on five you come on six you gauge it right what i mean by you gauge it on six here yeah, at this point you gauge it on six mm -hmm. you come on the focus and you cut on six so in the long run you'll be having all this now you now take your french curve and you're going to join all those points together so let's see like i told you earlier you start joining from the vertex so this is my point here mm -hmm. and i'm going to ensure that i'm getting three points together including the vertex and i'm going to draw this first uh, the first one and um, i'm going to complete it with this so with the help of this i'm going to draw this right so we just take this mm -hmm. and together with this also that is one and i will turn it the other way around also from the vertex i'll get three points just this way mm -hmm. this one should include so i'll be giving them until I get what I'm looking for. Right? So once you can do that, you are good to go. So I can take this. And from here, I'll be having this. So this is my parabola. I constructed the one using one other principle but it's the same method it's called low cost method right and i'll show you how to draw a tangent from the previous video now we want to draw an hyperbola and this is how we should control an hyperbola so now what you do for an hyperbola let me assume this is another line here if i'm to draw an hyperbola now you draw a vertical line and you draw a horizontal line we know the vertical line is the directrix but in this case here now we want to draw an hyperbola this is a parabola but we want to draw an hyperbola we know very well that um, they have one thing in common the focus is 40 millimeter away from the directrix so I am going to measure 40 millimeter from the directress 
So from the directories here, I'm having 40, the same procedure. This is my 40 millimeter, which is my focus. And I know the vertex, the focus is half, the vertex is half the focus, right? So half of the focus will be 40 divided by 2. This will be 10, 20, and that will be what? 20. Are we good? Now, there's another way you can do this. We discover that the eccentricity of an hyperbola is 3 all over 2, right? So I'm going to add this ratio, it will give me what? It will give me 5. So I'm going to divide the focus from the directory to the focus, I'll divide it into 5. So if you remember your line division, you're going to divide this into 5, which is what I will do now. So I'll draw a horizontal li um, a line from this point and I'll take my compass and I'll mark each of those points this way at any given radius, reasonable radius I'll place it at this point I'm going to mark this is point 1 point 2 point 3 Point four and point five. Now I'm going to join the last point to the focus, which is the fifth point. I will have it this way. You can see that. Then I'll take my other set square, just like my normal line division. I'm going to place it at the edge, just like you can see here, at this edge here. Mm -hmm. Ensure that it can move freely. So I will start moving this. If I move this to the next point, I'm going to have this. Move this to the next point. I'm going to have this. Move this to the next point. I'm going to have this. Move this to the next point. I'm going to have this. So I'll divide it into five equal parts. This is zero. This is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. Right? So this point here is point 3. So that will be my vertex. So my vertex will be at what? Point 3. The focus will be 1. The next point will be 2. The next, this is, the, the focus will be 0. The next point will be 1. The next point will be 2. Then we have what? 3. So my vertex is at what point three are we good so zero one two three now what i will do is under my vertex i am going to draw a vertical line up this way like this right now and i'll take my compass i'm going to move from point three to the focus can you see that and i'm going to mark up this way and i'm going to mark down this way so i've got those two points up and down now i will take my i will take my ruler i'm going to draw a line from this point on directories to pass through those points like this and I'll do that for the next point too, like this. Right? That is the first stage. So, after you've done that, the next thing is you extend these lines. You can try to continue using this line from the vertex, right? So, this is 2, 3, 4. And you continue that way if you want to right i have the same radius here and i'll start moving them if i want to so let me end here so i'm going to pass my line through this center through this point with the help of my c square and t square so i'll have the first one 
I'll move. I'll have the second one. I'll have the third one. I'll have these two. I'll have these two. So I'll stop there. Right? So after I've done that, with the help of my compass, I will move it starting from this point here, not from the vertex, but from this point. I'll move from here. So I will assume that from the vertex, this will be my point one, my point two, my point three, my point four, and five after the vertex so i'm going this way so at point one here i'll move it to the top here can you see just like the way i did my parabola i'll take it to the focus i'm going to mark on one up and down i'll go to two i'll do the same thing move it up here go to my focus mark on two up and down the same thing at three also which is here go to the gauge it here right on the focus which is still three i'll mark up and down then go to four gauge it place it on my focus mark on four which is this up and down all right I'll go to 5 also, gauge it, place it on my focus, and mark up and down, just like that, right? So in doing that, I'll now take my French curve to connect those points. Take my French curve to connect those points, we just complete this. So take my French curve to connect this point, starting from the vertex, I'll have this from here, with the point, so ensure I'm taking those three points first, so these three points is going, mm -hmm. so you see that, and the next three points is this and this. I'll take this then I'll make sure I'm taking more to the point then I can just take this now do the same thing here too These three points, so we are moving. So, this is an hyperbola. Guys, this is more parabolic, it is more concave, but this is more convex. So, this is how you draw an hyperbola. So, we'll meet in our next video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.